Hi, this is Teddy Burris, your LinkedIn coach, trainer, public speaker. I'm all about helping people master LinkedIn as a business tool. I also use some other business tools, and one of them is Evernote. I love Evernote. It's a powerful way for me to manage my notes, easy tool for me to create my notes. I have access to Evernote not only through a web browser right here, if I go back to the web browser, not only through the web interface by logging into Evernote.com from anywhere in the world and any computer, but I also have the uh, Evernote app on my MacBook Pro, my MacBook Air, on my iPad, and my Galaxy Note uh, smartphone. Get to my Evernote no matter where I am 24-7. Uh, if you pay for the premium version of Evernote, you can create uh, notes in any device without having to be connected to the internet, which is, adds a little bit more value to using Evernote. There are five things I want to show you quickly on Evernote that really makes it easy for me to use this tool. First of all, if you go look at my notebooks down here on, in my sidebar uh, through the Evernote app, you'll see that sorted by name, here are all of my uh, notebooks. I don't know how many I have, but I know I have quite a few. But you'll notice that some of them I put a dot in front of it, a period or a decimal. By putting the period in front of it, when you're looking at your notebooks in the notebook view sorted by name, then it's easier to find those that have the decimal in front of it. You can also type in a name up here if you want to do search. If I want to find a notebook about, um, you know, um, uh, a legacy, there, you know, just type just a few letters, A-L-L-E-G, is finding a notebook with that word in there. I want to find a notebook with the word network. So there are, you know, one, two, three, four, five, you know, five notebooks. And I didn't have to type the whole word, just N-E-W-T, you know, I just want to find Teddy. You know, there's no notebooks called Teddy, but I want to find one called Burris, B-U-R-R. -R. There's two of them. So again, by managing your notebooks from the notebook screen, I'm in the notebook list here, I can sort them, if you go all the way here, alphabetically, and I can find any notebook I want just by typing in a few letters. Hit a B. Finds all the notebooks to start with B. And so really a great way to manage your notebooks and search and find notebooks. Second thing I want to show you is the shortcuts. Over here on the left, this is what's called the uh, sidebar. And so in the sidebar, I can I can show pretty much anything I want to show. Uh, I've got shortcuts, recent notes, notebooks, tags, and alias. And uh, I, I haven't turned on these other things. But pretty much all I use really is shortcuts and recent notes uh, and my notebooks. So over here on my shortcut, you can see I have some notebooks. I also have some stacks that I'll tell you about later. It's really pretty easy to put a notebook into your shortcuts. Uh, a single note, notebook can be dragged and dropped, and there it is over there. Once it's over there, I can right-click on it and uh, remove it from the shortcut, or I can grab it right here and just drop it in white space, and you can see it's out of the shortcuts as well. Great way for you to put shortcuts to your most actively used notebooks and stacks of notebooks. Third thing to show you is stacking notebooks. So if I go back to my notebooks, let's say I want to stack these two notebooks, these two idle notebooks sitting by themselves. You can see one of them's got 14 notes in it. One of them has eight notes in it. If I want to stack them together, grab it, drop it on top. And now I've got a stack. I can rename the stack just by clicking on it and just rename it to, you know, whatever I want, testing here whatever I want, relevant would be important, but then you see it's a stack, and the way you know it's a stack, these have just numbers. This has numbers to the right of a book, which means there's two notebooks. I can put the stack into my shortcuts, by I can't drag it, it won't let me drag it, put it up there for some reason or other. I can right click on it, and I can add stack to shortcuts, and there it is there. Again, to get it out, all I do is take and drag it out, lets me drag it out, or I could have right click on it, removed it from stack. If I double click on this stack, there's the two notebooks. If I want to take them back out, grab it, drop it in white space or gray space, grab this, watch what happens to the stack when I pull this last notebook out of the stack, the stack goes away. So stacking notebooks is a great way for you to manage and organize all the notebooks relevant to projects, departments, companies, uh, organizations, et cetera, et cetera. 
The fourth thing to show you is the default Evernote notebook. If you create an, a new note uh, on a, a tablet device or a, a smartphone device, unless you choose it, by default, it's going to go into uh, the, the, a default notebook. And the way you change that is go to Evernote Preferences, and you can choose right here, the first item, by default, place new notes into whatever. I can select whatever notebook I want to put them in. And by default, I put them into unfiled. Lots of other options here I'm not going to explain to you today. But have a default notebook and know what it is. I use the dot unfiled. It's an easy way for me to know. Tell you a bunch of stuff I got to take care of there. The last thing to show you is searching in Evernote. I love searching in Evernote. If I'm in all notes right here by clicking on notes and it says all notes right here, I can go up here and I can type in the word networking. It's going to search everything and there are 419 notes with the word network in it. I can also, if I want to, get a little bit more deliberate and I can go to a specific notebook. So if I go to a specific notebook, let me go to my... Uh, um, uh, community notebook. Let's go over here. Community work. Let's go to uh, leader cast. And I've got a bunch of uh, four or five notes in there. But if I want to say I want to look for the word leader cast in here. Well, first of all, I've got it set to look in all notes, my notes. But if I go to leader cast HRMG, then it found five notes with the word leader cast in those notes say look in a particular notebook say LinkedIn some suggestions in LinkedIn articles the notebook it found two notes with the word LinkedIn in it. just lots of options for you to search in this search bar right here searching for notes whether they're all notes my particular notes or the are in a particular notebook Lots of ways to quickly search for uh, notes. One more thing to show you. So while I'm in a particular note, I can hit con uh, Command F or Control F and bring up this search bar right here. I can also do that by going up here and doing um, Edit, Find, Search Notes, or Find Within a Note. And so when I find Within a Note, it brings this up. And so then I can type in, I want to find uh, you know, the word Section and then it highlights the word section down throughout here. And so it shows me there's 10 options. I can scroll through it and find the ones I'm looking for. So searching in Evernote is a great way to find notebooks, to find notes, and to find text within notes. And the best way to learn how to do it is to practice it. I've discovered that I can go to, when I'm looking for something and I have no idea where it is, I go to notes, make sure I'm in all notes, and I go up here and I type in Burris, and then I find 329 notes with the word Burris in it. If I really want to dig a little deeper, then I can say I want to search for Burris in LinkedIn. And so now it's going to find 218 notes uh, with the word Burris and LinkedIn. And if I want to find Burris LinkedIn strategy, then I get a little bit more deliberate. And there's only six notes that have the word Burris in it and the word LinkedIn and the word strategy. So a great uh, Evernote search tool is very powerful and well worth experiencing. I'm Teddy Burris. I'm a LinkedIn coach and trainer, social media consultant, public speaker. I love Evernote and I wanted to show you quickly how to use it today. I hope this is helpful.